Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium here in the northern Qatari city of Al Khor. I'm Derek Ray and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And it is a first test for these two countries here at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Portugal facing Ghana. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start. So let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. And this confrontation is underway. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio is the keeper. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And as for the attack, well, it has a bold look about it with three forwards listed from the beginning. A brilliant work to keep that one in play. Very quick thinking there. Felix. Towards Bernardo Silva. Able to deal with the threat. Ronaldo. Well, getting in the way. Superb save. And played short. Firing it towards goal. Well, able to close down the short. There to win it back. Ronaldo. Can he finish? Well, here it is again, and they've taken their goal well, but the defending was non-existent. That should never happen. One nil then. Amarte. Mohamed Kudus. He's given the ball away. Cristiano Ronaldo. And slipped through beautifully. And good pressure high up the pitch. Oh, managing to beat him. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And no way through. Portugal looking dangerous. Fernandes. A good and fair challenge. Antoine Semenyo. And return to Williams. Retaining possession proving difficult. Cristiano Ronaldo. Bodies forward and the break looks on. 
An important interception. Ronaldo. Being egged on by the crowd. Oh, a tremendous block. And so it is, the first half story has been rated. So back underway here into the second half. Well, as you can see here, Fernandez gets beyond the challenge of the defender and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So, 2-0 now. Williams. And intercepts again. Well, Portugal had more of the possession, as you can see, and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football, and they look like scoring more. Cristiano Ronaldo. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Able to skip past his man. Ronaldo! and you truly sense it's a matter of how many well here's the replay watch how he goes past his man with such ease and it's just a change of pace and the movement is good making for a comfortable finish it's a really great goal is this going to be a thrashing 3-0 now Possession again. Ronaldo. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Felix. And the keeper did more than enough. And a substitution in the offing. Well, high marks for that pass. And you need your defender to take charge. Dallo. On to Ronaldo. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Counter-attacking, very much an option. And foul it is then. Well, they've decided to make a change. Body in the way. Not what he was intending, bad pass. And support available. Just wanted to get it out of there. Excellent defending following the cross. So a throw in here. Couldn't hang on to it. Let's hear it for today's man of the match. Number 11, Charles. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Now. 
Well, as we can see here, the pass from João Felix is absolutely perfect. And Ronaldo made the finish look so easy, as he so often does. It's a lovely goal. And the final whistle here, a real sense of feel good in the Portuguese camp on the back of this victory, Stuart. Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today. And on the back of this, no doubt about it, Cristiano Ronaldo generating headlines. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well. They know what's needed. A win in this game and a favourable result elsewhere will lift them into the knockout stages here on EA TV. Hello and welcome. The floodlights are shining down here at the 80,000 capacity Lusail Stadium just to the north of Doha. I'm Derek Gray in the commentary position and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And both teams with one game each under their belt already. Let's see how they fare this time around. Stuart, your expectations? Well, thanks, Derek. All they can do is win this game. They can't worry about the other result. Let's hope they come out and play as we know they can. This should be a good game. A look at the starting 11 today. Lucas Torreira plays with Rodrigo Bentancur in the centre of midfield. And up front, Edinson Cavani plays with Luis Suarez. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And as for the attack, well, it has a bold look about it with three forwards listed from the beginning. And Portugal moving the ball with purpose. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. A chance maybe from the wide position. The supporters want to see him have a go. And he takes it away. Cavani. Unable to keep the ball that time. A foul, but advantage played. Suarez. Suarez! Oh, keeper dealt with it. And a retrospective yellow card is the referee's verdict. Well, no doubt about it. That earlier challenge was a definite booking. Let's see about the delivery. Well off target. Didn't have an awful lot of space to work with, however. Guerrero. Joao Felix. Otavio now. Gonzalo Ramos. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Plenty of support here. Torreira. Torreira. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Can he convert? Making sure it didn't get past him. Well, as you can see, it's been really tight and neither side has taken enough risk going forward. 
Hopefully that will change soon, and then we might get some entertainment. Yes, a stalemate so far. Will that situation change? And a goal here, Cavani! First goal of the contest. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And what a finish this is from Cavani. He strikes it so well. That's a great goal. So back underway, having conceded. Let's find out if Portugal can flick a switch and come up with a goal of their own. Fernandes. Ramos. He read the situation defensively and did his job. This could be the equaliser. And keeping it out. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, Edinson Cavani, more than just a finisher. Stuart, your thoughts on his performance? Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Silva Dallo and still looking to get the shot away the save was a good one well I still can't believe that didn't go in Derek what an incredible save Cavani can they do something positive on the counter attack well, it fizzled out. Oh, good vision. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. So, a half an hour remaining. Gonzalo Ramos. On the ball, Joao Felix. Giovanni now Caceres here's Cavani what a crucial intervention inside the box counter-attacking very much an option very quick thinking there Suarez not snuffing out the danger but a corner coming up so deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture now sending it in and the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers Bernardo Silva has it. Terrific block. No possibilities inside the box. So a corner kick it'll be following the deflection. And the short option preferred. Happy to take on the shot. Could have been awkward for the goalkeeper. Growing pressure here, and another corner. Careless in possession. Oliveira. And a 
chance to an attacking position. It's not too late for them. This could level it, but denied by the keeper. And at this late stage of the proceedings, it could be highly significant. Well, it could be a huge moment, Derek. So little time left now. The running room in the wide position. Cross fired over. Oh, it's in! And that might be the goal that clinches it for them. No looking back now, surely. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. But how is he allowed that much time and space? He doesn't even have to jump to head it in. It's a good finish, but terrible defending. And the referee makes it official. Well, this hasn't gone Portugal's way. Not at all what they had in mind. Stuart, sum it up for us. Well, Derek, they weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't deserve anything from the game. They need a much better display next time out. And really no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Well, that performance sums him up, really. And the match begins. It comes down to this. Three points will guarantee their place in the knockout stages. Stay tuned. It's live on EA TV. Hello, a very good evening to you. This is the scene here at the Lusail Stadium, just to the north of the Doha city centre. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And two games in the books already for these two sides. This, their final group stage test. It's the Korea Republic up against Portugal. Well, thanks, Derek. This won't be easy, but a win here, and they will be through to the knockout stages. If they perform at their best, I think they will get the three points that they need. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And it's an interesting looking attacking constellation with three forwards listed from the start. Felix. Well read to ease the pressure. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Bernardo Silva. Nicely timed tackle. And he's broken free. That is a tackle and a half. Joao Felix. Diogo Dallo. Good technique displayed. And clears the danger. It's going to be a throw in for Portugal here. Ruben Neves. Ramos. Well, far too much elevation there. Quang. And Lee Jae Sung with it. On to Huang. And he takes it on. A smart stop here. Oh, oh. 
Who's going to get on the end of it? What a genuine... Oh, and a penalty has been awarded. Big moment here. Can they get themselves ahead? Well, no card handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball, so penalty yes, yellow card no. This to open the scoring here. And the keeper denies them from the spot. Let's see about the delivery. Not all that convincing defensively. Oh, great header. Smart stop, though. And increasing the pressure. Another corner it is. Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Delivering it. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. Good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Well, Portugal had more of the possession, as you can see, but it's been a frustrating performance from them so far. They just haven't had enough guile in the final third. It's all been a bit too predictable, which has to change if they want to win this one. No doubt, they go to work moving it around again. Huang Uijo. Well, foul play, says the referee. And he'll take efforts like that all day long. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Can he do it to take the lead? And saved by the keeper. And there's the delivery. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Can he convert? That is that for the first half here. Well, we know how explosive Joao Felix can be, but not really bringing his influence to bear on this. And... So back underway here, into the second half. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. But they dealt with the threat posed. Now options are plenty. Well, chances don't come much better than that. What a miss that is. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Lee. This looks more than decent. Could take the lead. Can they stop it going in? Well, really calm, composed goalkeeping there. It certainly was on the second attempt. It was the first save that really stood out. That was a brilliant piece of goalkeeping. Bruno Fernandes. Well, they might be onto something. Oh, goodness me, off the post. Blocking it. And the keeper flings himself at the ball. The short corner routine. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. Well, 
Well, the minutes are ticking away, and just to confirm that with a draw, they will make it through to the knockout stages. Yeah, it's been a tough group, and today's been no different. They just need to hold on here and hope that nothing changes in the other game. This is going to be a nervy finish. And based on that challenge, you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his booking there. Taking care of business defensively here. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And a throw in forthcoming. Cho. Now Son. Went in strongly to win the ball. Joao Felix. And they're on the front foot, looking for a winner near the end of this game. And let's give credit to the defending. Can he put it away? And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Favouring the short one. Goalkeeper getting in the way, superb save. Going short, enjoying time and space here. Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance, and the fans are lapping this up. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better. And Fernandez's finish is excellent. He times his run, he finds that bit of space, and he was never going to miss that. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Well, if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. And the final whistle is sounded. A story of Portuguese progress in the group stage. They'll move on to the round of 16. Yeah, they've had a bit of everything. They've looked well organised. They've looked good going forward. They've defended well to win the ball back. They look like a hard team to beat at the moment. On to Huang. Hello, a very good evening to you. This is the scene here at the Lusale Stadium, just to the north of the Doha city centre. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And we have a very intriguing match to bring you, this World Cup round of 16 tie. How do you see the match going, Stuart? Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here, but whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. The supporters want to see him have a go. A truly magnificent start. An early goal in the game. Just what they were hoping to produce. Well, just watch this again. 
a change of pace, a change of direction and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Galamu. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Effective challenge. Malong, plenty of options. And that pass could be troublesome. Can he finish this? And the keeper diving to thwart him. Well, the referee deciding to let the play flow, but now it will be a booking, Stuart. Well, as soon as the ball went dead, he was always going to book him, and he's absolutely right to do so. Now, how about the short corner? Well, did his job defensively. Bruno Fernandes. Targets available. Cross comes in. Well, you can't really head them any better than that. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Possession lost. Oh, breezing past him. Can he make it count? got in and that will be written down as an own goal no wonder he's hanging his head well as the replay shows us that will be classed as an own goal he's a bit unlucky there So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Galamu. Oh, this is looking promising. Chance to reduce the arrears. And a goal! Not over just yet. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Well, 2-1 it is here. Fernandes. Fernandes. Superbly read and executed. Andre Franck Zombo Ongisa. Well, great read there to intercept. Felix. This looks more than decent. And a goal! to the lead, much needed security well here it is again and the pace in which they break forward is devastating, it's so hard to defend against, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end, it's a really good goal so the ball is moving again we've been treated to four goals 3-1 the score And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Silva. Dallo. Oh, fancy footwork. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game.
So back underway here into the second half. And fed forwards. Ronaldo! And foiled only by the crossbar. Will he finish? Well denied by the keeper, but really he only has himself to blame. Great pressure to win the ball back. Oh, managing to beat him. Ronaldo! Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Uh, back in action. It's been all Portugal so far. You sense there could be extra punishment in store. Toko Ekambi. France unable to make anything of the cross. Well, as expected, Portugal have had more of the ball so far and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Indeed, perhaps they can cash in again. Let's see. A very effective challenge put in. Collins Fay. Moving forward effectively. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Toko Ekambi, and he's through here. Really good piece of goalkeeping there. And behind it's gone for a corner. And time for the change now. Over it comes. Well, full marks to him for that header, but the goalkeeper did his job. Gonzalo Ramos. Ruben Neves. Bruno Fernandes has it. Couldn't keep it. Toko Ekambi. No advantage with them. Referee says play on. And Bernardo Silva has it. Chance for Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva losing out to his opponent. Oh, pressing really high. Martin Hongla. And so into the final five minutes. Determined defending. the final whistle we'll be seeing Portugal in the last eight yeah it doesn't come much easier than that does it I thought they played well and it was an excellent overall and so the battle commenced
Hello, great to have you with us. We're really getting down to the tension-packed part of this World Cup. We're at the quarter-final stage. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me here on the commentary position is Stuart Robson. And no shortage of excitement here. We're thoroughly looking forward to this one. It's Germany up against Portugal. Well, this has the makings of a very good game. Two sides full of quality, a great atmosphere, and everything to play for. A last you can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, you don't really want to be picking up a caution so early in the game, Stuart. Well, he's going to be under pressure now. That was a reckless challenge. He didn't need to make it at all. And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really good bit of play. Watch how he turns his marker and then has the composure to finish. That's a top-class goal. goal. And the action underway again. The onus very much on Germany to find a response now. Well, can they open up the defence here? Corner given. Played over. Oh, great header. Smart stop, though. Well, far from the ideal header. And the goalkeeper had it all the way. Otavio. Excellent defending. Routine, really. Rudiger. David Raum. Fulkrug. Onto Goretzka. Oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. And he gets away with a warning here. In my view, that's good refereeing. Strong, but not officious. Being egged on by the crowd. Tremendous block. Well, he's given it away. Joao Felix. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Felix. And stuffing out the danger. Now, who can he play it to? Neves. Well, as you can see, Germany have had the majority of the ball, but most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. Neves. And still danger here. And a time for cool heads. Ginter. Krug and played the pass well the first half here comes to an end
underway once more it's advantage Portugal after the first 45 but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over Guerreiro I'm afraid it goes down as a wasted opportunity well no excuses he should have scored there and the goalkeeper got really lucky he can't believe it Gundogan on to Goretzka Sané Leroy Sané oh that was begging to be put home but the goalkeeper has it Silva Bruno Fernandes has it Dalo. well that is how to nullify the opposition David Raum. Fernandes, is it going to be? And Kimmich puts his body on the line. Leon Goretzka. Breaking at pace. Gundogan. Well, flinging himself at the ball. Well, they've decided to make a change. Let's see about the delivery. Couldn't quite hang on. Muller. Superb block. And the keeper was finally able to claim it. Well, what a great piece of goalkeeping. Firstly, the save, and then the recovery. Brilliant from him. Portugal being afforded too much space here. Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. Germany could get in behind the defence. They couldn't maintain possession. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. Sané. Interception to snuff out the danger. Ruben Neves. Bruno Fernandes has it. Well, great read there to intercept. And the final whistle has sounded. Portugal have made it through to the semi-finals. Well, they had to work hard for it today. Very little to split between the teams over the 90 minutes. And they had to be quite resilient at times. They've come through that now and will certainly factor their chances in the next round. Closing in on a shot at glory. Which one of these two teams will qualify? 
Good evening and welcome to Alcor. Welcome to the Al Bayt Stadium, the venue for this one. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And we're just moments away from kickoff time in the World Cup semi final. It's France up against Portugal. Well, this could be an absolute classic. And the prize couldn't be any bigger, could it? A place in the World Cup final. Let's just hope we get two teams that want to play good football and come out and attack the opposition. This should be a good game. Not unable to bend his run offside. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris between the posts. Rafael Varane plays alongside Lucas Hernandez in central defence. Antoine Griezmann starts alongside Adrien Rabio in the centre of the park. And the main striker today is Kylian Mbappe. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And as for the attack, well, it has a bold look about it with three forwards listed from the beginning. And he stopped them in their tracks. Ronaldo. Crossing possibilities. Bruno Fernandes. Can they forge ahead? Keeper did his job to begin with. The referee has given a corner. Prompt defensive action called for. Griezmann and a strong tackle and that'll be a Portugal throw Otavio and support available body in the way Rabio, and with that the attack fizzles out well he's got plenty of space on the flank here chance for Ronaldo Silva can he finish and a goal the opener in the semi-final first goal of the contest Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well-balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Teo Hernandez now Griezmann perfect challenge the tackle completely mistimed and you would expect a booking under the circumstances well the card is out and it's yellow yeah it's clumsy and it's late definitely a yellow card Mbappe the supporters want to see him have a go well, he has the measure of his opponent. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. Well, they no longer have the ball. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. So into the second half. Can France bounce back after that first 45?
Well, a bad pass it was. Dallo. Griezmann. Kylian Mbappe. Very quick thinking there. And a throw in here for France. And the substitution will occur now. Radio firing it in. No oh, keeper in control. And played short. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Well, they couldn't keep it. Running with the ball confidently. Opportunity. Couldn't quite hang on. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Going to get a try. Finally gathered by the keeper. Well, that's a really good recovery. He had to be smart there. Well, France have controlled possession, as you can see. But most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. And into the last 20 minutes. Ramos. And France regaining possession. chance here can they put it away well a piece of quick thinking by the keeper well that's great goalkeeping he read it so well didn't he Bruno Fernandes and Portugal moving the ball forward what can they do from here surely and now it is there for him and a goal it was served up on a silver platter for him Well, here it is again. It's an easy finish in the end, but what was the keeper thinking? That's a poor bit of defending. So, 2-0 now. Radio. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. And he'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. Bernardo Silva. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Ramos. And super tackle only one possession. And in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. And there goes the whistle. Portugal are through to the World Cup final. Well, they won most of the individual battles all over the park today. And that was key to their comfortable win in the end. It was a really composed display in a very important game. And they'll certainly fancy their chances in the final. Well, rightly, our cameras are affixed to Rafael Guerrero. Another fine performance from him, Stuart. How would you sum it up? Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.
this is it. We're down to the two best teams in the world and just moments away from the most... Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's the Netherlands up against Portugal. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Virgil van Dijk plays with Matthijs de Ligt in central defence. Frenkie de Jong plays with Davy Klaassen in central midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And it's an interesting looking attacking constellation with three forwards listed from the start. And now they get the ball rolling. Well, it's been a long and winding road to the final for Portugal. It's worth remembering that they finished second in the qualifying group. They had to go through playoff matches against Turkey and North Macedonia just to get to the 2022 finals. And this past month has been challenging as well, but they're here and they have a well-earned track record as winners. Well, you're absolutely right, but I think they've got better and better as the tournament has worn on. They've got a great understanding of what's required of each player on the pitch. They're good tactically, they've been fit, and I think they've got every chance of being the world champions here, but they're going to have to play well. Nicely timed tackle. Considerable momentum, courtesy of Ronaldo, but what can he produce from here? Klassen. The pie. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, he's such a natural finisher. Oh, yes. wait a minute. They could well be in. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. And the danger clear. Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. Ronaldo. Oh, he saved it well. Dallo. Reading it well. Not covering up defensively. Can they slot it home? Shielding the ball superbly. Well, you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point. Because they're really looking dangerous at the moment. Klassen. Klassen. Kervis in possession. Clear foul play. And as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Oh, this is looking promising. And fine goalkeeping. Yeah. 
Over it comes. Oh, great header. Smart stop, though. And the teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? Goalkeeper's ball. It was always going to be that way. And Portugal will get the throw in. And that's how to dispossess your opponent. Berghaus. Onto de Jong. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Well, as you can see, it's been really tight and neither side has taken enough risk going forward. Hopefully that will change soon and then we might get some entertainment. Hang on a minute, Stuart. Opportunity unfolding. Oh, did so well to deny him. And a body in the way. Into the middle from Bernardo Silva. Able to deal with the threat. And they know they need to stop him. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. And the substitution will occur now. And Bernardo Silva has it. Ronaldo! And the keeper there to deal with it. It's a short corner. He takes aim. Foiled by Van Dijk, and a super header, it looked as though it might be going in. Thumps clear, behind for another corner, can they cash in? And the keeper's in trouble! And that's how to deal with finesse. Well, it's an easy save for the keeper. It wasn't the best option, that's for sure. Into the final 20 minutes. An alert intervention. A lot of forward thrust here from Ronaldo. Now, what can he do from this excellent position? And using his body to good effect. Frankie de Jong, Flint, now counter-attacking possibilities here, in with a chance, oh a vital save, and it remains all even, well there you have it, he may just have saved his team here, and taken short, well that's how to keep the opposition at bay, Five minutes remaining then, and the score sheet remains blank. Tension building still level. And closed down straight away. And that's sound goalkeeping. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution.
Who can they pick out? High class defending right on the goal line. And clearing it away. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. And now a corner. Can they take advantage of it? Well, for good measure, we can see it again, but clearly not over the line. Can be no debate over that decision. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, he couldn't worry the keeper with that effort. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. Well, the ball rolling again, no end to the action. It's the first period of extra time, and I must say, this has been a back-and-forth type of game. Portugal pushing forward with options available. What a balance! And the referee has given it. It will be a penalty. Can they forge ahead? Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. <laughs> this to make it 1-0. A goal! Accurate from the spot. Well, here it is again. And just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Portugal looking dangerous. And still trying to get the shot off. Well, here it is again, and the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger, and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Perfect tackle. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Oh, surely! I think you could call that an escape. It looked a certain goal. The first period of extra time is over. 15 minutes left. Maybe after that, penalties. We'll see. And Bernardo Silva has... And so the drama continues here. We're into the second period of extra time. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Depay. Strong but fair tackle.
classic example of how to intercept. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. And now it's all over. We've witnessed history. Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe. Now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today. Portugal, the world champions. And this is finally Portugal's time. Fully deserved. Best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach. He's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them. And Bernardo Silva has it.